Hello Mama and welcome to this short refresh on the setup of the T34 Nikki syringe driver. I've used Peyton's stages of learning to help guide this session. It will take the form of a demonstration in real time of the setup, um, followed by a step-by-step -step approach. Feel free to pause the video at any stage if you feel you need more time at any point. I have attempted to leave out any irrelevant material and will help and will keep this video short and focused, reducing cognitive load for the learners. So here we go, we'll set up, we'll do a demonstration as if I was setting up the pump in real time. So as you can see, it's very easy to set up if you have everything prepared. Um, feel free to pause the video now if you feel if you need to, but otherwise we'll move straight on to a step-by-step -step approach. Okay. So please refer to the handout provided, which will accompany this session, and it will just point out which button is which on this Nikki T34. So now we'll run through which equi what equipment we need to set up a syringe driver. So obviously you need the syringe driver. And you need to make sure it's got a battery in it. They're often stored without the batteries in them, so just make sure that you've got one handy. Then you need 20ml syringe, your drawing up needle, an extension tube. I'm using the 0.25ml one here. It's the 0.75 is probably slightly better for patients. It's a bit longer. It gives them a little bit more ability to move away from the driver. Then you need your medications, a subcutaneous line into the patient if they don't already have one, with an occlusive dressing. You then of course need to label both your syringe and the line. And last but not least, your subcutaneous medication infusion device chart which will tell you what goes in it as well as your observations. So, stage one, we draw up the medication. Use your drawing up needle. Queensland um, policy states that we put the medications in a 20ml syringe because it dilutes the medications and just reduces um, inflammation at the site of injection. And we mix with normal saline. Anything between 15 and 16 mils, the machine will actually um, calculate your rate for you. you discard of your sharps. And you're going to add your label. Bearing in mind you need to keep the numbers still visible. And you're going to prime your extension tube, medication, and label your line. 
these extension tubes last three days, unless there's of course a need to change it beforehand. So once that's all set up, you can move on to your syringe driver itself. So turn it on simply with the on off button. And it will go through a preloading time and we don't want to interrupt that. Once it's done that, it'll tell you to load the syringe. And we do that by placing the um, plunger end in this end and the collar in the collar sensor here. So you just need to, using the arrows, move the collar sensor, move the plunger sensor back to fit the syringe, like so. Lift up the arm. Place the syringe in. Replace the arm. And if you have placed the syringe correctly, the, sy the driver will actually recognise the size and type of syringe you have put in there. So if it is correct, you just press yes, at which point it will automatically detect the volume in the syringe, the duration, and these are all set to 24 hours, and then it calculates the rate per hour over that time. So this is 0 0.60 mils per hour. Um, but you don't need to change that necessarily unless you need to reduce the duration. Um, so we usually just press yes to accept. And then you're ready to start the infusion, at which point you connect this end to the end of the safety intima, which is already in the patient. Once you've done that, you're going to lock the driver in its box, which is locked, which just prevents any tampering with. And the patient is all set up. Once you've done that, all you need to do, all that's left to do is to document on here and do your four hourly observations. Now I hope that by using both my voice and the demonstrations I've achieved a positive learning experience for those who learn both linguistically as well as visually. The visual handouts provided also will add to this type of learning as described by Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences. Thank you for watching and I hope I've improved your confidence with setting up a Nikki T34 syringe driver.